For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this quick little problem that says determine the components of the support reactions at a fixed at a fixed support A on the cantilevered beam. So basically, we what they're asking you to do is what are the reactions at A? And there are three reactions you got. A reaction going up because as you can see the 6k is going down and this 4k is going down and to the right since this 4 is going down and to the right you know that the react the horizontal reaction at A is going to be going to the left to make up for it so we're going AX and you know that the 6k and this 4k are creating somewhat of a clockwise moment therefore the reaction is going to be a counterclockwise moment. So these are the uh, reactions at A and we're going to find them. So the first one is you know that the sum of the forces in the x direction are equal to zero, right? You know that this force right here has an x component and a y component. So, as you can see, the AX is going to the left, so it's minus AX. Of course, I'm assuming this orientation for the X and Y axis. So, minus AX plus the X component of this 4 kilonewton force, which is 4K, times the cosine of 30 degrees. And it is equal to zero. So when you solve for AX, you know that AX is equal to 4K times the cosine of 30, which comes out to be 3.464 kilonewtons. Now the second one says that the sum of the forces in the Y is equal to zero. In the Y, you know, you got from left to right, you got the AY going up. So let's assume positive is upwards. So AY minus the 6 kilonewton force going down minus the y component of this 4 kilonewton force which comes out to be minus 4k times the sine of 30 and all of that is equal to 0 so when you solve for a y you can see that a y is equal to 6k plus 4k sine of 30 which comes out to be exactly 8 kilonewtons nice round number and the last one is the moment, you got to find the moment. So at A, you assuming that uh, counterclockwise is positive, sum of the moments at A has to be equal to zero. So at A, we have the moment that which is through going counterclockwise, so it's positive MA minus the moment created by this 6 kilonewton force, which is, is minus because it's turning it clockwise so since it's turning it uh, clockwise it's turning a liberum of 1.5 so it's minus 6k times 1.5 meters and then you have the y component of this 4 kilonewton force going down and it's turning it also clockwise and it's turning this lever arm right here that goes all the way to here now the distance from A to the vertical uh, line where, where it uh, intersects this force at 90 degrees is equal to obviously 1.5 uh, plus 1.5 times this distance right here which is given by 1.5 cosine of 30 therefore this force is equal to minus because it's turning it uh, clockwise and it's 4k sine of 30 this is the y component of this 4 kilonewton force <clears throat> times the distance from a that it intersects it at 90 degrees which is 1.5 times 2 plus 1.5 cosine of 30 and that is in meters and then you have minus again because you have the 
x component of this 4 kN force, this one right here, 4k in the x, and this one's 4k in the y. So we have the 4 kilo, kilo in the x that turns this lever arm also clockwise, so it's uh, minus. And this distance right here is given by the same distance right here. So it's 4k times the cosine of 30 times this distance, which is given by, let me write it down right here, 1.5 times the sine of 30. And all of that is equal to zero because it's statics. So when you plug this in the calculator and you solve for MA, you get that the moment is equal to 20.2 newton meters and it's going to be positive, so it's going kind of clockwise because that's what we assumed originally. Final answer for the moment. Final answer for AY and final answer for AX. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.